Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the Daily Vibration. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're tuning in via Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or my podcast, I want to take... Thank you for taking the time to um, check out the daily vibe today. So keep it in mind that energy is fluid. So whenever you click on this video, my love, so if the message resonates and vibrates, you take what you need. And if it does not, you just go ahead and leave what you don't. Okay. Now, uh, we've been talking about a few things as far as numbers are concerned. You're going to see a trend as we go through the year. All right. I want you to keep in mind, however, along your spiritual journey, that you are not just responsible for mastering the energy from your sun sign. You're responsible for mastering all the energies in the zodiac wheel okay all 12 aspects or aspects of yourself that you need to master so you can break free okay um to be able i want to say literally um not have to do this shit over again okay so with that being said my love we're gonna go ahead and just note that the sun is in pisces so it's all about your imagination it's all about you being able to transcend past you know uh, the bullshit this is also about you being able um, to see past illusions because some people can still live within the illusions within the Pisces energy or to gain a deeper level of understanding for things that you need to really understand at certain points in your life, right? Um, especially when we're dealing with shadow work here, right? Now, the moon is currently in Aquarius, right? So there's still that freedom energy and that liberation energy in the atmosphere as far as emotions are concerned today. So you can pay attention to that, right? So we're dealing with the third calendar month of the Gargarian calendar year, the 10th date and we are now in year 2021 okay so the third month um 10th day right in 2021 calendar so we have march itself vibrating on number seven right so when you when you do um the geometria for march you find that it vibrates on the number seven not on the number three for the third month okay so we're going to get into those numbers also all right today is wednesday so happy mercury day to you no um Berkey rules communication, so you may want to um, have, you know, a conversation today. You have that supportive energy in the atmosphere today, so you may want to have that particular conversation today, right? So, as you're moving throughout the energy today, it's very important for you to understand my love, right? That you are not to get stuck in any of this energy, right? The whole deal for you to understand is that you can change states. You can't be happy and sad at the same time, all right? So, the choice is yours, all right? So, let's tap in today um, and see what's going on with these numbers. So, we have the number one popping up twice within the day is popping up within the number 10 for the 10th day. And it's also popping up within the, uh, the year 2021. Keeping in mind that the number one vibrates on that creative spark, right? So we're talking about a number from the physical plane, the physical realm. Okay, so um, you want to be mindful of that energy. So that is a doing aspect of self, right? Um, this number rules the doing aspect of self. This is the expression of yourself as well as the expression of your ego or the oppression of your ego. So some of the things you can find in the energy today with the number one is you being able to strive forward and push forward and not get stuck in the past so really that's the question is there anything from the past that's holding you back that you need to let go and release okay the number one energy is popping up with master number 11 today so you have two ones in the date today all right um with that you need to be mindful within the double 11s when we see double ones you want to be mindful to stay away from negative people okay um hazers and gargamels as well as energy vampires and narcissists can be definitely in rare form today within this energy so be mindful of that okay now uh number one can also you can tap into um like i said staying stuck in the past or wanting to push forward right number one also vibrates on you being able to uh organize yourself as well as achieve things because it deals with achievement okay remember that's that creative energy that spark energy okay number one also vibrates on that raw energy force right but i want to say this on the lower vibrational end this number can also be passive aggressive or maybe even um ignorant or arrogant okay Okay, so these are some of the um, energies that you can be interacting with today just on the vibration of number one. You could be interacting with aggression from other people or ignorant people or people that's passive aggressive today. Okay, so you want to be mindful of that. Okay, now we also have number two showing up in a date. We got a cluster of twos also within the date. That's the gateway to your intuition. Number two is the gateway to the soul plane. This is the feeling plane. Okay, um, the spiritual plane. All right, so high sense 
sensitivity with the double twos this year as we're moving throughout the energy. Uh, you can also tap into your personal will today with the number two, all right? Now, some people, if they're not tapping into the personal will, they can find themselves being unsure of self today, right? Uh, some people can be tapping into that cooperative energy from your ancestors, from your guides, from others, you know, from the resources that you have. And some people could just feel non-cooperative today and giving everything a hard time and pushing back on everything, okay? Keeping in mind, once again, this is where I dropped the knowledge, like your choice. Choose what state you want to be in. You want to be in a cooperative state or you want to be in a, a state where you're non-cooperation, where you're just not accepting help, even if it's for your best interest. So you want to be mindful of that as you're moving throughout the number two today, all right? Number two, uh, vibration. You also want to pay attention to the details today, all right? And it, uh, uh, flip side to that is some people can be indecisive within this energy. So you want to be mindful of that also because there could be some indecisions uh, bubbling up today within the things that you need to get done or the decisions that you need to be, uh, that needs to be made, okay? Uh, the vibration also with the number two can be um, insensitive and pessimistic. So you have pessimistic energy on the lower vibrational end of one and then you have it again showing up in the lower vibration of the number two so we have to be mindful for the pessimistic energy today that seems to be the pattern that's showing up here all right jumping into the number three y'all okay because we have the third month of the gorgarian calendar year three is the gateway to the mental plane so this is where your imagination your rational mind begins to come into action three also activates you being able to tap into your memory aspect right now let me tell you something when you're tapping into your memory aspect especially when you understand that there's infinite wisdom and everything that you can tap into it's limitless and sometimes you get memories from past lifetimes you get memories um uh, maybe for things that you you, you know you, you you saw in a dream so this is some powerful energy vibrated under number three not to mention that number three is the holy trinity of manifestation in this realm right because you have the masculine feminine energy which then produces matter so this is really where you begin to see that um there is an awareness or you know, consciousness, right? That there's an ego and a spirit within this number three, all right? So number three really begins to give you a consciousness or awakening that there is um, an ego and a spirit that you can tap into, all right? Well, masculine and feminine energy, all right? So vibrating on number five. We know the year is vibrating on the number five, all right? So release and surrender is what I'm going to say today with the number five, all right? And you can also find that you're not going to like routine today, all right? So within the number five, some people may not definitely want to deal with routines today. All right. So um, wrapping up, we have the number nine today. Okay. Also um, vibrating on the number nine. If you add three, uh, the third month, 10th day in 2021, you get 18, which then reduces down to the number nine. Right. So completion is in the atmosphere just for the date's vibration today um remember number nine deals with you being able to now apply the mental action three indicates that you are aware that there's a conscious self as well um well a spiritual self and an ego self right and the nine right gives you the opportunity to utilize that energy you'll have to take some action mental action is vibrating within the number nine completion energy right some of the things that you can tap in today within the number nine is just strength of character okay so some of you may have to choose integrity today even though no one is watching you may have to choose your integrity as you're moving throughout the day learning how to say no is also something that vibrates within the number nine sometimes i say you have to learn how to say hell to the no to the no 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 or fucks no or hells no okay just depends but learning how to say no is in the atmosphere today so some of you may need to tap into that all right you can also find within this energy some people are uh, unable to focus and feeling a bit disconnected within the vibration of the number nine today now we do have pisces in the sun and we do have aquarius in the moon so along with the numbers and just what's going on in the planetary alignment you you know i can see why some people may feel disconnected or unable to focus um especially if you are not telling yourself the truth about some things, okay? So keep that in mind as you're moving throughout the day, all right? Choose what state and what energy you want to dwell in, right? Integrity is going to be um, key for some of you today because you have a lot of pessimistic energy in the atmosphere today. Uh, so be mindful to stay on your game, not to give your power away. Don't give your energy power away today, okay? Do not give your power away today. All right, the cause that jumped out for you in the meditative pool today was new beginnings, all right? This is pure conscious energy popping out in these cards today. Balance, 
as well as wisdom all right so every day can be a new beginning right um every day can be a new beginning utilize the wisdom that you have today and balance today balance today is key keeping in mind you cannot be happy and sad at the same time my loves you're gonna have to choose baby which one you're gonna live in which realm you're gonna live in okay so if i have to look at the chart today you definitely have all numbers of the fields operating today number one which operates in the physical field number two which operates in the spiritual field and then number three which operates in the mental field okay so use your power today okay stay away from the pessimistic energy stay away from the pessimistic energy today okay even within yourself stay away from that pessimistic energy today and that is your message i think that's what i'm going to title this stay away from the pessimistic energy today okay Anybody that's talking any shit that's just lower vibrational, you don't even want to. It's too, yeah, the numbers are too sensitive today to do that, right? Then you don't want to have to go home and do all that shadow work because people, yeah, you don't want to have to do that, right? Okay? So stay away from the pessimists today. Do something kind for yourself. Love yourself. Honor yourself. Remember, out of darkness comes enlightenment, honey. So don't be afraid of the dark, okay? All the, you know, in the dark is where you get all your answers, baby, about you. You don't have to go in and tap into your dark side to get the answers about you, okay? All right, my love. I'm going to see you guys in tomorrow's daily vibration, all right? It is a beautiful day here. I'm about to go hike tomorrow, y'all, because it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. All right, love you guys much. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Bye, my loves.